Hey, this is Dan Albright from MakeUseOf.com, and today we're going to look at how you can emulate and test your Arduino circuits using the 123D Circuits online tool. I'll be building an Arduino traffic light, one of the beginner projects we have on Make Use Of. So if you'd like to check that out to follow along or try it yourself, you can hit the link in the video description below. Uh, once you've created your 123D Circuits account and logged in, just select New and New Electronics Lab to get started. So that your work area, when you first get there, just has a breadboard. So we will add an Arduino. Uh, clicking on Components and using the search bar for Arduino. Select the R3. And drop it right there. So the next thing we need to get our traffic light working is a set of LEDs. Use the search bar again for LED, click and drag, second one, change the second one to yellow, put in a third one, change that to green. Okay, now we will get everything wired up. To add breadboard wires, you don't need to select any component. You just click on one of the available slots on the breadboard and then to wherever you want it to connect to. Mm -hmm. Change this to red. You can start wires from the Arduino as well. So connect the ground in the same way. Okay, so now we have all the wires that we need. The, what we need next is to add some resistors. So open up the components again. Search for resistor. Drag a resistor out here. And each resistor will have to be adjusted so that it has the correct resistance. We'll change the units to ohms. Go to 220. Okay, so that's everything wired up that we need for our traffic light. So what you'll need to do next is edit the code. Open the code editor. I have the code needed saved here. Copy it and paste it in here. And we'll select upload and run. And there's our traffic light. Everything's working perfectly. So we'll stop the simulation and go to the next part of the demo. So we'll be adding a push button that will change the sequence of the light from green to yellow to red, like it was a pedestrian crossing button. So I'll go back to components, find a push button, add it here. And we're going to need another resistor. Put that there. You rotate the resistor. Every, by pushing the R key on your keyboard, you can rotate any object. Change the resistance on this one to 10,000. And then wire it up. So for this wire, we're going to need to get it all the way down to the 5 volt pin on the other side of the Arduino. So we will create a wire that goes over here, and then another wire that starts in the same place, comes straight down, and then when you click with the wire on the background, you can create a turn. So connect that one to the 5 volt pin there. I'll we'll need to update the code for the new program. Paste it in here. Upload and run. So now you can see our traffic light is staying on green. So we'll push the pedestrian crossing button here. And it goes to yellow. It'll run through its cycle. Back to green, stays green, and we push the pedestrian crossing button again, goes back to yellow. Then to stop the simulation again, we just hit stop, 
And that is how you use 1, 2, 3D circuits. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out the links in the video description for more information on this project. And if you enjoyed this demo, be sure to subscribe for all of our weekly tutorials and gadget giveaways.